If you have been using iPhone or iPad for some time and now purchased your first MacBook, you might be surprised how much larger is its charger. Well, the reason is not so surprising. It's connected to the power consumption, to the heat, fast charging and also design itself. But do you always need to charge with this huge brick which comes with your MacBook? What is the smallest charge you can take with you for traveling which will sufficiently charge your Mac? Well, I tested all of that for you and I have very surprising results. So let's have a look at it now. According to Apple, you need at least 20 watts to charge newer iPhones. And interestingly, it's also limiting the fastest speed. So even if I use my 96 watt brick, it's not gonna charge my iPhone any faster. These limits are not on MacBook, on either side, the smallest and the biggest either. But what I want to focus in this video is to find out what is the smallest possible charger which will be good enough to charge my Mac. In this test, I will be using the 96 watts original MacBook charger, the 61 watts MacBook charger, the 35 watts dual USB-C power adapter, which according to Apple is already too small and not recommended for MacBook Pro. And we will go even lower and test the iPhone iPad charges of 18, 10 and even 5 watts. The test was always performed on the Mac charged to 50% and I left it charging for one hour. The MacBook was in the sleep mode, I was not using it at the time. I only checked it in half an hour, so we have more details. And here are the results. As expected, the smallest 5 watts charger can't deliver enough power and being plugged for an hour just brought only 1% of the battery. So this is not the charger to use. Probably not even good enough to charge the iPhones. If you want me to test it out as well, I can do it in another video, so let me know about it. But now quickly moving on to this compact travel charger which was standard for all the iPads. Really nice and handy charger, but even 10 watts is not good enough to charge the Mac. For such a small charger, 8% extra battery is not bad. It could probably prolong the battery life a little bit, but it's not gonna fully recharge it. So let's jump ahead to these big guys, to the original MacBook chargers, so we have some data to compare it with the remaining ones. The original 96 watts and the older 61 watts charger ended up charging exactly the same, 48% in an hour. So another useful information coming from this result is the fact that the larger the charger doesn't necessarily mean that it will deliver more percentage. It means it will be charging faster. In the first minute of charging it was way ahead, but coming closer towards 100% it was significantly slowing down and at the end they both ended up the same. But the most exciting results come with these two remaining charges, the 18 watts and the 35 watts. I didn't expect that this small iPhone iPad charger can deliver anything. But bringing 20% in an hour is pretty good. So on the question, can you charge your Mac with an iPhone charger? I would say yes. Of course not on a regular basis, but if you find yourself in the situation where this is the only charger you have, then getting 20 extra percent of the battery will bring you another couple of hours of battery life. So I think it's pretty good. But now something I didn't expect it at all. It's connected to the last charger. The dual USB-C 35 watts power adapter could deliver whooping 44% in an hour. Only 4% shy of the biggest 96 watts charger. I was traveling with this charger for a couple of months and used it on a regular basis to charge all of my devices. So I knew it's good, but it surprised me how close it was to the biggest 96 watts charger. For me, this is a clear winner of this test, by far. Such a compact small WSB-C charger, which is much lighter and smaller than the original brick. And Apple also equipped it with the international compatibility, so you can easily remove this country plug and put another one at your destination. So yes, this is my go-to charger any time of the day. I hope you find this test useful and if you want to support my small channel then every like or subscribe really makes my day and keeps me motivated to make more videos. So I hope I'll see you in those videos as well. Thanks for watching.